solve problems on inventory model 1c for demand rate uniform replenishment or production rate finite by using important formula let us understand some important formula related to inventory model 1c inventory model 1 is under the category of elementary model with deterministic demand and shortages are not allowed and it's a type that is 1c is demand rate uniform and replenishment or production rate finite in previous cases replenishment was instantaneous but here replenishment rate is finite that means we have to show some slope to for the process of replenishment now we will understand some parameters and we will also draw the diagram for the inventory model 1c on vertical line we have to show inventory level and on horizontal line we have to show time now we know that for this inventory model 1 there is the fixed lot size or we can say fixed quantity ordered and that quantity will be quantity q so we will consider here up to this point this quantity is ordered for each and every time so i will show this fixed quantity and i will draw here one horizontal line in the form of dash so here is the fixed quantity that is q is ordered for each and every time now we will show here the number of orders so at this point order first is placed then at this point second order is placed and because the time interval is fixed for each and every order so at the same interval we have to place the order 3 now we will show this time interval that is time interval t the first number of items required or consumed per unit time so here r is the consumption rate so whenever the first order is placed then from this point we have to show the consumption rate so this consumption rate is constant because this consumption rate or we can also say demand rate is uniform so you we have to show this uniform demand rate so i will show with the help of uh, dash line so from this point because this is the initial line we have to show here the constant demand rate so we have to show up to this order number 2 so whenever this inventory becomes zero second order is placed then again from this point up to the next order this consumption rate or demand rate is uniform so again i will join these points this demand rate is uniform the so slopes are also same so this uh, this is r so these slopes are known as r so we have to mention this then k k is the number of items produced per unit time so this k is the number of items produced per unit time and r is the number of items consumed so this is the consumption rate and this is the production rate so production rate is always higher than the consumption rate so we have to show here k is always greater than r then next c1 that is the cost of holding per item per unit time then c3 cost of setting up production run now here shortages are not allowed so c2 is the shortage cost so we have to consider c2 as infinite because shortages are not allowed then q number of items produced per run so for each and uh, every uh, order placed the number of orders uh, produced number of items produced that is equal to q t interval between runs that is here is the time interval between runs t1 time during which stock is building up at constant rate so this is important so whenever the time the stock is building up at constant rate so we know that the production rate is k and as the production continues it is supplied at the same time 
and because the production rate is finite so the replenishment rate is also finite and now we have to show this so how to show this so during the time interval t1 this stock is building up at constant rate so we will show here one slope so this slope we have to continue up to up to this slope r so here is the point of intersection now this slope is known as k minus r because as the items are produced at the same time they are getting consumed from from this initial point so this slope is known as k minus r so i will mention here. and we also know k is greater than r so this slope is known as k minus r so this k minus r is during the time interval t1 so this point of intersection if we if i continue here then here on this horizontal line this distance is known as time period t1 then t2 time during which there is no production or replenishment so after this point there is no any production so i will join this point on the horizontal line so after this point there is no any production or replenishment is taking place and inventory is decreasing at constant demand rate r so here after this point inventory is decreasing up to the second order so i will show here and we know that this is the same slope and this slope is known as r then next im this is the maximum inventory available at the end of time t1 so at the end of time t1 what is the inventory level that is the maximum known as maximum inventory and notation is i to the base n so here is im and which is consumed during time period t2 so here is the time period t2 we will show now the same process we have to repeat in between second order and third order because this im will also remain constant so i will make here one horizontal line and here is the point of intersection so up to this point of intersection we will show here the slope this slope is known as k minus r this slope is known as r then if i join this point with the horizontal line so here is time interval t1 and here is time interval t2 we will move to the important formula first one maximum inventory available at the end of t1 if we observe this diagram here is the triangle so here time interval t1 and and at the end of t1 here is the vertical line in the form of dash which shows the ma maximum inventory im now if we observe this triangle this im that is this vertical line is equal to this slope k minus r multiplied by t1 now how we can write this in other way now if i multiply this t1 with inside bracket then k into t1 that is q minus r into t1 we can also write k minus r by k into q second formula holding cost per production run for time period t now if we observe here is the whole time interval that is t so what is the holding cost for this time period t so which is equal to half im t c1 then set up cost per production run that is equal to c3 now total average cost per production run so here we have to add holding cost and set up cost so when we add these two that is half im t c1 plus c3 so this is the total average cost per production run now next formula total average cost per unit time so here per unit time is there that means we have to divide with t to this formula so when we divide here with t then this t t is getting cancelled so here this cost we will write in terms of im and t so i will write c in the bracket im t which is equal to half im c1 because t t is getting cancelled plus c3 by t now i will write this formula in terms of q 
Now this I M we can write in terms of Q that is K minus R by K into Q. So I will write C in the bracket Q because this is the cost in terms of Q. That's why we have to write this. And again we have to replace this T in terms of Q because this T is equal to Q by R. So this T is equal to Q by R. And this I M also we have to write in terms of Q. That is half k minus r by k into c1 q plus c3 divided by q by r. Sixth formula, optimum lot size. We can also say economic ordered quantity or economic lot size. QO is equal to under root of k, k minus r under root of 2 c3 r by c1. Next, optimum time interval. That is TO which is equal to QO by r. And optimum average cost per unit time. So optimum cost that means minimum cost CO is equal to under root of K minus R by K under root of 2 C1 C3 R. First question. A company has a demand of 12,000 units per year for an item and it can produce 2,000 such items per month. The cost of one setup is rupees 400 and the holding cost per unit per month is rupees 0 0.15. Find the optimum lot size and the total cost per year assuming the cost of one unit as rupees 4. Also find the maximum inventory manufacturing time and total time. This question was asked. PTU BTEC Mechanical November 2012, JNTU Hyderabad BTEC April 2011, Mumbai University MBA 2010. Let us understand the given data. Demand rate or consumption rate is given 12,000 units per year. So its notation is R. So we can say that R is equal to 12,000 units per year. Then production rate is given 2,000 items per month. Now if we observe demand rate is given for one year and production rate is given for one month. So we will convert this into year. So how to write this? That is 2000 multiplied by 12. That is equal to 24,000 items per year. And its a notation is K. So we will write this notation in bracket. Then setup cost. So this setup cost is rupees 400 per setup. So its a notation is C3. Then holding cost. So holding cost is given rupees 0 0.15 per unit per month. So here also for one month this cost is given. We have to convert for this year. So how to write? That is 0 0.15 multiplied by 12 which is equal to 1.80 per unit per month per year sorry because we have multiplied here 12 so this will this cost for per year so this is the cost c1 so it's a notation in c1 so this is the given data and from this data we have to find out optimum lot size so its so notation is QO and formula is K divided by K minus R under root of 2 C3 R by C1. So again we will put the value under root of K that is 24,000 divided by K minus R that is 24,000 minus 12,000. Again next under root 2 into C3 that is 2 into 400 into R that is 12,000 divided by C1 that is 1.80. So when we solve this, we will get 3,264 units per setup. Because if we observe, here setup cost is given for one setup. So this optimal lot size is also for one setup. This, op this is the optimal lot size. Now we will move to the next question. Now for next question, we have to find out what is the minimum cost or optimal cost. So optimal cost is given, formula is under root of 2 C1 C3 R under root of K minus R by K. So this is the formula. But this formula is given for per unit time. That is for one unit we can calculate this optimal cost CO. But here for this question cost of one unit is mentioned. And cost of one unit is rupees 4. 
and our demand rate is 12,000 units in one year. So what is the total cost for 12,000 units? That is 12,000 multiplied by 4. So we have to add this cost. So we will calculate CO is equal to 12,000 into 4 plus 2C1C3R under root of K minus R by K. We will put the value under root of 2 into 1.80 into 400 into 12,000 multiplied by under root of 12, 24,000 minus 12,000 divided by 24,000. Now if we observe this number of units for one year. So this cost is for one year. So what is this cost? Rupees 50,940 per year. Third question, maximum inventory that is IM. But we have optimal lot size QO. So by using QO we will calculate IMO that is equal to K minus R by K QO. So we will put the values and then we will get the answer 1632 units. Next question manufacturing time. So that is the production time. So production time that is time interval T1. So how to calculate T1 that is equal to IMO divided by K minus R which is equal to 1632 divided by 24,000 minus 12,000 which is equal to 0 0.136 years. Now why unit is years because we know that here the demand rate and production rate is in year and that's why here time is also in year. Then total time. So total time that is time interval T. But we have used here the optimal lot size QO. So we will use here the total time that is TO which is equal to QO by R. So 3264 divided by 12,000 which is equal to 0 0.272 years. Second question, an item is produced at the rate of 50 items per day. The demand occurs at the rate of 25 items per day. If the setup cost is rupees 100 per setup and holding cost is rupees 0 0.01 per unit of item per day, find the economic lot size for the one run. Assuming that shortages are not permitted, also find the time of cycle and minimum total cost of one run. This question was asked Bombay BSC Stat 1975 Pune MBA 1983. Let us understand the given data. Production rate is given 50 items per day and demand rate is also given 25 items per day. So if we compare the units, units are same. So production rate is a notation is K. And demand rate that is consumption rate it's a notation is R. Then setup cost is given rupees 100 per setup. So for this setup cost notation is C3 and holding cost rupees 0 0.01 per unit per day. So if we compare the units for production rate, demand rate and cost it is for one day. So it's a notation is C1. And Condition is also given, shortages are not allowed. Now, we will move to the first question, economic lot set. So, economic lot set, that is QO, formula is under root of 2C3R by C1, K divided by K minus R. So, simply put all the values. So, when we put the value, we will get the answer, 1000 items. Now, next is time of cycle. So, time of cycle, that is the time interval T. So, here we will use economic lot set. So we will use here TO which is equal to QO by R. So R is uh, demand rate that is 25. That is 1000 by 25 which is equal to 40 days. Now why here unit is days? Because if we compare the rates are given for one day. So our answer in time is for days. Then third is minimum total cost per production run. So minimum total cost per run that we have to calculate. Now if we take this formula then this formula is minimum cost per unit time. So here 2C1C3R under root of K minus R by K. Now we will put the values. So when we put all the values then we will get the answer rupees 5. But this is the formula 
cost per unit time. So I will write here cost per unit time. So for unit time that is for one day. But question is that minimum total cost per unit production run. So this production run is for 40 days. So total cost total cost per run is equal to this cost for the one day that is 5 multiplied by total number of days 40 that is 200 so here rupees 200 per run so this is the answer